Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about relocation of Chakmas and Hajong. Now this Chakmas and Hajong are the tribal of northern state and they are said to be the tribes who have migrated to India when there was a war that is regarding the East Bangladesh when it was called as East Pakistan and there was a issue that there was a Muslims and Hindus fighting and there was a religious fight in East Pakistan because of which many people, those who are non-Muslims, they migrated to India, that is in northeastern states. And they are said that they were, they were settled and relocated actually. They were taken as a refugees in uh, northeastern states and they got settled over here. So it's been many years since this Chakmas and Hajong have been in India. Who are these Chakmas and Hajongs? They are migrants from Chittagong Hill tracts of East Wild Pakistan. That is now they are called as Bangladesh. They are migrants of those and they are uh, they have taken asylum in india in 1960 and they were settled in relief camps in southern eastern parts of arunachal pradesh and some actually some also even moved to other states if we see chakmas and hajongs they even a mizoram tripura have the population of this chakmas and hajongs these chakmas are buddhist and these uh, Hajongs are Hindus and some are also inhabiting in Meghalaya of Karo Hills and adjoining Assam. So the most of the other population they fear that their population has increased from the time they have come. It was very less population. There was around 40,000 population. Now it has increased to 65 and above. And fear among the people about their job and the land and their settlements have increased. This has led to uh, many hate crimes and atrocities and even denial of their rights. They do not get any services or benefits from the government programs also. So there were times where there was a, if you see in 1996, the court have also given, the court have even ordered them that they should be given rights in the state and they should be protected. But as time has passed, they were not given anything. Later, the petition have been filed again. And in 2015 also, the court have assured to give them citizenship those who are not given citizenship because it's been many years and decades past that and some of even second their generations have come and even they are indians by birth so they should be given indian citizenship which was not given till now and in 2021 they said they would plan for something that they will give the rights of Chakmans and Hajongs, but in August 2021, uh, suddenly the Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister has said they should be relocated outside the states, and they should be, they should be even taken census of the community. So this is a clear violation of Article 14 of the Constitution of India and Article 1 of the International uh, International Convention on Elimination of Racial Discrimination which is ratified by India. According to Article 14 of India, no person shall be denied treatment of equality before the law and equal protection of laws within Union Territory of India. So, these are a few concerns of the Chakmas and Hajong. If we see this Chakmas and Hajong, they have already come to India through Lusai Hills in 1960 itself. They have come as a refugees and they were placed in the relief camps in this low hit and Shuban Street districts by Northeast Federal Agency under the Union Government.
From 1970 onwards, the, the uh, Northeast Federation Agency renamed Arunachal Pradesh and made UD and then it became a state. The state government opposed the resettling of this EU refugees and claiming it would change the, as it is changing the demography and it is um, they are utilizing all the limited resources. This is the major concern by the people of uh, other people, uh, those who are in those who are local people of that particular state. That is the main reason why they are uh, asking to relocate and many crimes have been occurring because of these reasons. So, uh, the, what we can do at all about is uh, the, the, the Northeastern people are facing these kind of uh, harsh developments in their life so which which is not good for the state if we are not giving uh, respect and rights to our people then obviously the china will take advantage of this so we should try to give rights to our own people so that they will be happy and they'll try they will be happy and the other state or country cannot involve in our matters so that's all for today, friends. If you like it, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.